Imagine this room represents the Amazon, the largest and most diverse tropical forest in the world. Next to you, in a single hectare, you can find more species of trees than across all Europe. Sadly, almost 20% of this room has already been deforested, and only 1% has actually been studied. The hashtag Pray for Amazonia went viral last year. Deforestation and forest fires are continuous threats. More conservation areas and more studies are needed, but only collecting data in one hectare could take several weeks and cost thousands of euros. Now imagine hundreds of millions of hectares. To increase knowledge and map Amazonia, I'm combining three things. Forest inventories, machine learning, and satellite images. These images are pictures of the Earth taken from space. Different objects, such as vegetation, rivers, or species of trees, reflect the sun's radiation in a different way. Satellites capture this spectral information in images. Now let's imagine we're in the middle of the Amazon, and all of you are different species of trees. We only have field data from some of you. For instance, you could be within inventory plot one. You guys over there could be within inventory plot two, and so on. If we take a satellite image of this room and overlap it with your location, we can extract all this spectral information. So for each inventory plot, we have spectral information, but also floristic information, meaning what combination of tree species it has. I'm currently using machine learning algorithms to predict the floristic information from the plots based on the spectral information from the satellites. By combining forest inventories satellite images, and machine learning, I am mapping floristic patterns in large areas where field data is missing. As you can see in the map to your right, Amazonia is much more complex than just a green carpet. In fact, different colors there represent areas with a unique combination of tree species. And why is this important? With these maps, we can further identify suitable areas for sustainable management and conservation. We are also efficiently reducing research gaps in this rapidly changing, still unknown, and threatened ecosystem. Finally, my research provides key information for decision makers and can be replicated in other parts of the world. Thank you very much.